Lycoming Engines is a major American manufacturer of aircraft engines. With a factory in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, Lycoming produces a line of horizontally opposed, air-cooled, four-, six- and eight-cylinder engines including the only FAA-certified aerobatic and helicopter piston engines on the market. The company has built more than 325,000 piston aircraft engines and powers more than half the world's general aviation fleet, both rotary and fixed wing. Lycoming is an operating division of Avco Corporation, itself a subsidiary of Textron. History Topic sewing machines, bicycles and fashion Lycoming dates its founding to 1845 by Madame Ellen Curtis Demarest. However, the early history of the company, especially prior to 1860, is unclear. Biographer Ishbel Ross notes that the marriage of Ellen Louise Curtis to William Jennings Demarest took place in 1858, somewhat later than the purported date of establishment of the company. In New York, New York, between c. 1860 and 1887, the Demarests published fashion magazines and operated the Demarest Fashion and Sewing Machine Company, sometimes known as the Demarest Manufacturing Company, producing Madame Demarest and Bartlett and Demarest sewing machines and selling Ellen Demarest's innovative paper patterns for dressmaking. During this period, Ellen Demarest patented several fashion accessories, while her husband patented improvements to sewing machines and an apparatus for the vulcanization of rubber. Around 1883, Jarrett S. Schofield and Frank M. Schofield advertising agents from New York bought the Demarest brand and the sewing machine business the Demarests retained the magazine business, and constructed a factory in Williamsport, Pennsylvania in Lycoming County. At the urging of the newly established Williamsport Board of Trade, citizens invested US$100,000 in the new manufacturing facility, which employed 250 people. The factory produced 50 to 60 sewing machines per day, and the company sold them for between US$19.50 and US$0.50 and US$55 each. With the development of the New York Bicycle in 1891 designed by employee S. H. Ellis, the company diversified its product offerings. Until the early 1900s, the factory produced sewing machines, bicycles, typewriters, opera chairs and other products. Topic engine manufacture By 1907, the manufacture of sewing machines had become unprofitable for Demarest, and the company was sold and restructured as the Lycoming Foundry and Machine Company, shifting its focus toward automobile engine manufacture. In 1910, the company supplied its first automobile engine to Veli, and during the early post-World War I era, the company was a major supplier to Auburn, which produced the Auburn, Cord, and Duesenberg lines. By 1920, Lycoming was producing 60,000 engines a year, with a 2,000-strong workforce. To handle the capacity, a new foundry complex was built in Williamsport that year. Eventually Lycoming became Auburn's principal supplier, and in 1927 Eret Laban Cord bought the company, placing it under his Auburn Manufacturing Umbrella Group. Among the engines Lycoming produced for Cord was an L-head straight-8 engine of 298.5 cu, in, displacement that produced 125 horsepower. This was used in the Cord L-29. Lycoming also produced a double overhead cam straight-8 used in the legendary Duesenberg J-series. This power plant produced 265 horsepower, six times the power of a contemporary model A Ford. A supercharged version, generating 325 horsepower, was installed in the Duesenberg SJ and SSJ models. In 1929, Lycoming produced its first aviation engine, the nine-cylinder R680 radial. This was a fairly successful design, and was used widely in light aircraft, including Cord's Travel Air. In the 1930s, Lycoming made a number of attempts to develop successful high-power aircraft engines. The 1,200 horsepower 895 kilowatts 01230 was Lycoming's attempt to produce an engine based on the United States Army Air Corps hyper engine concept, and used a variety of features to produce nearly one horsepower in 346 kilowatts per liter of engine displacement. 
However, by the O1230's entry into service, it had been surpassed by other designs and the US$500,000 investment was not recouped. Another attempt was made to rescue the design by stacking two O1230s to make the 2,300 horsepower 1,700 kilowatts H engine H2470 but the only design to use it, the Volti XP54, never entered production. The Curtis XF14C was originally intended to be powered by the H2470, but the engine's poor performance led to the adoption of an alternative radial engine on the prototype. The XF14C did not enter production, undeterred by the O1230H2470's failure. Lycoming turned to an even larger design, the 36 cylinder XR7755, the largest aviation piston engine ever built. This design also experienced problems, and was only ready for use at the very end of World War II, when the aviation world was turning to turbojets and turboprop engines to power future large aircraft. There was apparently some interest in using it on the Convair B-36 Peacemaker bomber, but the 28-cylinder Pratt & Whitney R-4360 WASP Major 4 bank radial was used instead. Through the 1920s and minus 30s, Lycoming had still been supplying automotive manufacturers with engines. However, these clients each slowly went out of business or switched to Continental engines for their vehicles. By 1931, the company was supplying automotive engines to only three companies, Auburn, Cord and Duesenberg, still all under the control of Cord. These companies closed their doors in 1937, after which Lycoming switched to exclusively designing and producing engines for aviation. In 1939 Cord reorganized all of his aviation holdings into the Avco Group, at which point the engine manufacturing company became Avco Lycoming. They also leased the government-owned Stratford Army Engine Plant in Stratford, Connecticut and produced Wright radials under license. After the war, this plant was converted to produce the T-53 turboshaft engine, one of their more successful designs. From this point on the piston and turbine engine lines remained separate, with the piston lines being built in the original Williamsport factories, and turbines in Stratford. By 1961, Lycoming produced 600 to 700 engines per month. Their most successful post-war products were a series of air-cooled Flat 4 and Flat 6 general aviation engines. Most famous among these are the O235 and O364 cylinder engines, and the O546 cylinder engine. Many light aircraft are powered by versions of these engines, with power ratings in the 100 to 360 horsepower (75 to 270 kilowatts) range. Engines in this series also include the O324, O586, and O728 cylinder engines, and the advanced turbocharged and fuel-injected 450 horsepower (340 kilowatts) Tigo 541 variant of the venerable carbureted O540. In the early 1980s, the general aviation market suddenly diminished, and Lycoming's piston engine business was significantly impacted. Attempts were made to move some of the turbine production to Williamsport, but this led to a series of quality control problems and eventually it was abandoned. Another attempt to rescue Williamsport was made in introducing the Radical Score engine, a Wankel engine originally developed in a partnership between Curtis Wright and John Deere. Curtis Wright lost interest in the design just as it was maturing and sold it to Deere, who brought in Lycoming to sell into the aviation markets. They were guaranteed a startup run by Cessna, also owned by Textron. Just as production was ready to start, Cessna announced they were halting their small aircraft business for an indefinite period, and score was cancelled. The remains of the Deer licenses were later purchased by Rotary Power International, which briefly produced a 340 horsepower 254 kilowatts version. Textron purchased the company in 1985. In 1994, Textron sold the Lycoming Turbine Engine Division, located in Stratford, Connecticut to Allied Signal, who merged it with the Garrett Engine Division of Allied Signal as part of Allied Signal Aerospace, later becoming part of Honeywell Aerospace in 1999. Textron retained piston engine production in Williamsport. Topic. Engines. 
The aircraft piston engine prefixes are A aerobatic dry sump A aerobatic wet sump G geared reduction gear H helicopter I fuel injected L left hand rotation crankshaft M designed for unmanned drone O opposed cylinders R radial cylinders S supercharged T turbocharged V vertical installation usually for helicopters X X type engine Y experimental topic piston engines Lycoming R680, 9-cylinder radial, 1929, 220-295 horsepower, 164-220 kilowatts, Lycoming's first engine, 4.625-inch diameter by 4.5-inch stroke X9CYLS equals 680.41 in 3, out of production. Lycoming Dell 120, 4-cylinder turbodiesel, in production. Lycoming O145, 4-cylinder, 1938, 3.625 x 3.5 equals 144.49, 2.37 L, out of production. Lycoming IO233 LSA, 4-cylinder, 100-116 horsepower, 75-87 kilowatts, announced 2008 probable certification in 2009, in production. Lycoming O235, 4 cylinder, 108 to 118 horsepower, 81 to 88 kilowatts, introduced in 1940 and still produced, widely used on the Cessna 152 and similar GA designs, still produced. Lycoming O290, 4 cylinder, 125 horsepower, 93 kilowatts, downsized version of the 435 introduced in 1942 and largely ignored for aviation use, but widely used in ground power carts sold to the U.S. military, out of production. Lycoming O320, 4 cylinder, 150 to 160 horsepower, 112 to 119 kilowatts, used on Cessna 172. Lycoming O340, 4 cylinder, out of production. Lycoming O360, 4 cylinder, introduced in 1955 and widely used ever since, formed the basis for the 540 and 720. Lycoming TIO360EXP, 4 cylinder, 180 horsepower, 134 kilowatts, announced 2008, non certified turbocharged engine for home building use, in production. Lycoming IO390, 4 cylinder, 210 horsepower, 157 kilowatts, announced 2008, in production. Lycoming O435, 6 cylinder, 185 to 260 horsepower, 137 to 194 kilowatts, also developed as a tank engine, out of production. Lycoming O480, 6 cylinder, out of production. Lycoming O540, 6 cylinder, 230 to 350 horsepower, 172 to 261 kilowatts, widely used on the Piper Navajo, Comanche, etc. in production. Lycoming TO541, 6 cylinder, improved 540, featuring turbocharging on all models, in production. Lycoming IO 580, 6 cylinder, 300 horsepower, 223 kilowatts, engine introduced in 1997 in production. Lycoming GSO 580, 8 cylinder, original, 580, produced from 1948 to 1961, out of production. Lycoming IO 720, 8 cylinder, 400 horsepower, 298 kilowatts, engine introduced in 1961, still produced. Lycoming O 1230, out of production. Lycoming H 2470, out of production. Lycoming XR7755, 36-cylinder multibank liquid-cooled engine, largest aircraft piston engine ever built, out of production.
Topic: <inaudible> Turbine engines. Lycoming T53 turboshaft, 600 horsepower, 447 kilowatts, used on the Bell A1, Huey, and others. Lycoming T53L 13845 kilowatts 1133 horsepower used on the DB class 210 locomotive Lycoming T55 turboshaft 3750 horsepower 2796 kilowatts used on the CH47 Chinook Lycoming PLF-1, the first high-bypass turbofan designed in the U.S., intended for the VFW Fokker 614, not produced. Lycoming LTS-101, LPT-101, turboshaft and turboprop. Lycoming ALF-502, turbofan, based on the T-55 turboshaft, used on the Bay 146 and Bombardier Challenger 600. Lycoming AGT-1500, turboshaft, 1,500 horsepower, 1,119 kilowatts, used on the M1 Abrams. Lycoming TF-40 marine gas turbine for the USN's LCAC hovercraft. Topic. See also. Continental Motors, Inc. Rotax